Tommy McCarthy, massive congratulations and the new European Cruiserweight champion. Can we get your thoughts on a massive breakthrough win for you this evening? Yeah, I'm um, over the moon. I feel, you know, this is like a, a lifetime of work to get to this spot. And, you know, when you, when you start boxing, somebody says, oh, you'll be a European champion. You'll be delighted. But, you know, this is just the, the beginning for me. I want bigger and better things. But I'm just, I'm so happy and proud of myself, proud of my team. Lagoon started well. You begin began to sort of take over around six or seven, and from then onwards, it seemed like it was yours to lose. Do you feel like the scorecards reflected the the fight this evening? Um, I can't even remember what the scores were to be honest. But <laughs> as long as it had me winning, then that reflected the score. <laughs> After the Churchy fight, you were quoted as saying that that WBC international title win was the closest feeling you'd had to winning a world title. You've taken a step closer tonight. How did that and the new moment compare for you tonight? It was just, it's surreal. Like, I felt like I was going to start balling my ass up, but I was like, nah, I can't go back, go back home. Everybody started slagging me for being a crab while, so I, I held it together. I'm still holding it together, but I'm emotional, you know, because it's been a long time coming. You said in the build-up as well that a win tonight on this card would catapult you to stardom and, and begin to that road to making you a household name as well. You've won that European title. You've taken a step closer. It must feel like a lot of doors have opened for you this evening. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I've been rapping at the door for a long time, so now it's all starting coming into play. So I just showed out my team again: Mark Dunlap, Pete Taylor. Tommy McCormick, Lloyd Edwards, Stephen Floyd and, you know, Eddie Hearn for making it possible. Have you got any particular route you may look to go down towards that world title? You, we know you were looking at this as a world title eliminator. As we touched on, you've got that WBC ranking belt as well. Yeah, n next year, um, I would love to fight Maris Breedis. He's the number one in, in the world. So I want to be number one, so that's the, that's the guy. But any one of them, to be honest, it couldn't give a rat. Anyone who's got a belt, Big Max on that ass baby <laughs> it was great to say as well in, in the build up when the guys came out to see you with your family they mean everything to you don't they they just added motivation for you to not only win fights like this but to continue to succeed as well yeah and they're all back home Watson so I hope they're buzzing I've turned my phone off all day so I haven't talked to them all day and when I turn, I'll go home and ring them and hopefully I well, know they're proud so looking forward to getting home with them tomorrow and Hopefully you spoil me. I don't want to do no housework for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm sure you've I don't do it anyway. My weight pads is under control. <laughs> you've certainly earned a good rest, that's for sure. But just want to talk about this quickly. When you look back to that Richard Reakpour fight, you said that, you know, you did some soul searching. You spoke with Mark and you said, look, that's never happening again. You know, they say a loss is only really a loss if you don't learn from it. And that's certainly the case with you, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. You know, I probably I should probably thank Richard Ragpoor for giving me the boot up a hole that I needed, and um, because it's never happening again, and you know, I'm here now. I'm the champion of Europe, and the world's my oyster, if that's even the right phrase. But Mark always says this. He, when I first seen him, Mark, he says, "Tweet this now. We're coming for everything that says I couldn't have." And here it is. Yeah, boy. And uh, as we touched on again earlier, how big of an influence has, has Mark and Peter as well behind the scenes been inspiring in tonight's win? Like Mark has just took my career from ashes and turned me into a champion. And Pete's just molded me in the, uh, the boxer that always knew a Kubi. And uh, just, just love you the bits, lads. How much also, Tommy, do you feel your perseverance and genu genuine belief that you would reach this level as well has, has factored into your performance tonight? Listen, that's, everyone keeps going on about that. It's, it's just the way I am. Like, I'm not, I'm not a stubborn person, but I just, 100%, this is the one thing that I know that I'm, I can do very well. And like, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna let anybody stop me from doing it. Um, no matter what anyone says, no matter what the, the trolls say, shut it all the trolls. I'm part of the troll patrol as well. Um, if they're telling you to quit, forget about them. Genuine belief and genuine talent, you get to where you want to be in the end. Becoming Ireland's first black world champion in the future, another ambition that you've highlighted, but that history coming with it is just going to be a bonus. Becoming yeah. world champion, that's the dream. Yeah, yeah. I'm Ireland's first black European champion, so history in the making today. So, you know. Being a world champion is the main thing. Black, yellow, green, don't matter. But obviously I'm black and I'm proud to be black, so I'll be good to make history. Okay. And can I, go ahead. No, go on after you. I was going to just say, can I shout out my sponsors for who's um, 
been so stuck by him through the dark times as well. Because when when things look like I didn't have nowhere to go, you know, um, peak physique and normal property stayed by me the whole way. Cameron McManaman stuck with me the whole way, never gave up on me. Brandy Boyd has, you know, he's helped me so much. And then uh, Mark's Mark's friends who's coming to help, Brad McLean, Hounden, Fraser, um, shout out Larry O'Neill, PJ's Taxis. Who else am I missing everybody? Party, Mc, Party McShane. Um, yeah, I think that's all he's. And, Big, uh, Mark as well. Big Mark Candy well. Mark should have been here, but the Rover, the Rona got him, so psh, you missed out, Mark. <laughs> Get the vitamin B's in the vitamin C, zinc, all that stuff, but nah, listen. What were you going to say? I'm rambling. Oh, no, I was just, no, you took the words out of my mouth. I was just going to say, <laughs> did you have any final messages, but you're returning to Belfast? What, have you got a message for your, your Northern Irish fans as well watching at home? Uh, sure, that everybody in West Belfast, everybody in Greater Belfast, Shout out everyone down in Bally Fermot, Coliseum, Westhead, Jim, all the lads. Uh, up. Do you live in Dundonald? Uh. Shout out Mark and all the Dundonald ones. Everyone who's backing me. This is for all of us. Was well, for me, actually, but you can all join the party, too. So, yeah. Fantastic, Tommy. We appreciate your time. Thank Massive you. congratulations. Thanks well done, much. mate. Thank you very much.